How's it going, everyone? Equinox Phoenix here, and today we are going to talk about Supergirl <laughs> Season 6, Episode 17, titled, I believe, in a thing called love. Oh no, <laughs> this episode. Oh god, this episode. <sighs> I shouldn't be smiling because of what I saw at the end, but oh my lord. Anyway, um, let's get right into it. Uh, Lex is back? Question mark? Anyway, um... Lex is back. Um, he is from the future, specifically. Uh, it's a Lex from the future. He is back to help Nixley properly create the Allstone. <sighs> and they're now after the love, the love stone. Um, Lena tries to trap Nixley uh, with a fake love stone, and Lex reveals himself to be back. <laughs> of course, Lex appearing has a um, ne has a side effect in Lena in that <sighs> Lena gets very angry, and it kind of causes her magic to. Burr, cause the fake love totem to burn Nixley's hand. <laughs> Luckily, she's an imp and, you know, super healing and all, super healing and all of that. Anyway, uh, Lex and Thing escape. Now, uh, apparently Andrea has not learned a single lesson in the last however many seasons she's been around because she tells uh, William that he has to find proof that Lex is back and working with Lixley by end of day. Which, um, not the best idea. She's already caused one of her Pulitzer winning uh, journalists to quit because she's a fucking psycho this season for whatever reason. Um, but hey, um, Andre is quickly going downhill in my opinion of her. Um, As evidence might be calling her a fucking psycho. <laughs> anyway. Um Otis, I believe this is the dude's name, and Lex. Lex reveals, you know. He's in love, man. The man is in love. The man, the myth, the legend, the sociopath himself, Alexander Luther, is in love. Which is interesting. Um Anyway, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, Lena's afraid to use her magic. Uh, Alex wants to uh, propose to Kelly at Al's bar. Al's been booked. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. Al's been booked, uh, so she can't. Brainy is afraid to contact the Legion of Superheroes in the future because he doesn't want to work with Lex again. Because uh, the last time he knew about the future, he worked with Lex. And so it like, it, 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 it nearly destroyed half the world. And he's like, no, I don't want to do this again. I'm like, okay, first of all, just don't work with Lex. <laughs> like, it's really that simple. Don't work with Lex. Contact the future, don't work with Lex. It's really simple. Um, but hey, um, anyway, Nia tries to dream the, uh, the dream, to uh, the, uh, love totem. Lex helps, um, Nixley find it. Uh, after putting, after Nixley finds out that he has drones and he's following her, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, um. Nixley finds the dream totem in a church. Uh, it disappears. Uh, she manages to blast Kara with the dream totem, uh, giving her nightmares of being surrounded by phantoms and becoming one. Yes, uh, anyway. Uh, Jean and Kara agree 
uh, as well as literally everyone else, because, you know, they're just going to follow Kara's lead. <sighs> that they need to use the totems as weapons. So Kara asks Lena, do magic, please, uh, to protect me from... From uh, the the backfire of the um, humanity totem, because the plan is to um, is to forcibly give her uh, give Nix the emotions. Uh, that's gonna turn out fun, right? Anyway, Lena's like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that uh, because Lex and all of this. Uh, uh, Kara's like, no, 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 no. Don't think of Lex. Think of your real family. Think of us, which you know, very nice and pure and very Kara. Anyway. Uh. As um Kelly uh it turns out Kelly is the one who booked Al's bar. Now, uh as Kelly is about to propose to Alex, Alex is like, no, wait, wait, wait. I wanna propose first. I pulls out the love totem instead of the ring she had in her pocket. It's like, wait. <laughs> it's like, oh crap. Next Lee and Lex show up. A fight breaks out. Kara and uh Jean hit Nixley with both totems. And Lex, instead of reaching for the love totem. Goes and saves Nixley. When uh, Brainy shows up and is about to uh, trap Nixley. Uh, in with the gun. I don't know how that was supposed to work, but that's the thing. Anyway, Nixley con uh, confronts Lex and is like, what the fuck? Why did you save me instead of grabbing the love totem? And Lex drops the mother of all bombshells on Nixley. He tells her. He just admits that. He loves her, and when she died, a part of him died with him, with her, all of the, all of the things, you know, it, like, full-on, like, love confession, and Nixie's like, you know what? I mean, no one's ever sacrificed for me. And Nixie warms up to Lex, and is now willing to at least be friends with him. Um, he didn't say no to the love confession, though, so... To be fair, he's from the future, she knows he's from the future, and she knows that her future self trusts Lex, so... It's kind of like, I guess maybe she thinks it's inevitable? We don't know why she's just... Look, we understand being willing to be friends with him, but we don't know why she didn't outright reject him. This time. Anyway, um... Now, uh, Andrea! Uh, very angry at, uh, William, uh, over the fact that he hasn't gotten the proof yet, and... William meets with Otis. Oh, and Andrea breaks into Luther Mansion because she's an idiot. So not only she's a fucking psychopath, she's an idiot. Uh, but she does find the proof she needs, apparently. She she smiles at the end of the episode. Um, Well, uh, after that, um, Nixie's like, oh, we need the Hope Totem. We need the... Uh, we're missing two... The, uh, we're missing one of the Totems. And Lex pulls out the hope totem. He's like, oh, you mean this one? Uh, you can't destroy the things. You can destroy the vessel, but not the essence. And so the essence transfers back. And he's like, oh, by the way, the love totem was also destroyed. And it's transferred to a new uh, host type thing. And um, yeah, it then changes scenes to uh, the love totem growing on the back of Esme's neck. Uh, I'm guessing that means that Esme herself is the love totem, which... Uh, oh, no... Like, I know where this is going, and I hate it, but also, this is fucking hilarious because they're fucking transparent as shit, right? The writers are hella transparent on shows like this. Um, where it's going is both sad in context of the story, but in the real world, it's fucking hilarious how transparent the writers are. Esme is the love totem. Esme's gonna die. Like I said, it's sad for the characters, for us. She's not going to be uh, see adulthood, all of that. But it's also ridiculously hilarious how brain-dead and transparent the writers are. I don't have the best of opinions on the writers ever since the whole evil Lena uh, Luther arc. Like, that was just dumb as fuck. Right, like, I've made my stance on that very clear. I don't approve of them trying to kill off a little girl for character development or for the story. They could have literally put it in anything. Why a kid? Shit, man. Anyway. Um, 
Anyway, get your laughs at the writer's uh, dumbness in the comment section down below. Tell me what you guys thought of the episode as well down in the comment section down below. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys haven't already, hit, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time. And as always, stay bright.